Well, the Territory Government could make a call on whether to extend the youth curfew in Alice Springs as early as today. It's expected to happen this afternoon. The measure is due to lapse on Wednesday, but could be extended for another few days. And this would take in school holidays. Joining me live now is Alice Springs business owner, Darren Clark. Darren, great to see you. Has the youth curfew worked? Yeah, it has. It's, um, it's uh, made our world a bit normal up here. Well, when I say normal... Um, your version of normal. Um, <laughs> it's settled things right down. Um, people out on the streets, uh, the Sunday markets here with chop, chop a block full of people. Um, the feeling around town is a bit more positive. People have got a smile on their face and they're up and about a bit more. Um, still, there is things outside the, the curfew zone that have happened. There's been break-ins and, um, and things like that, but it's been a better world, Laura, a lot better world. Mm. So there's been... a, a a high level of adherence to the youth curfew. I've got to say I was sceptical about whether, you know, a curfew would actually work because there there seems to be a, a, a bit of thumbing their nose at the law uh, anyway. But, look, this looks like it will be extended. What are you hearing? And is there a lot of support for it? There's, there is a fair bit of support here in the community. Um, you know, people are enjoying the respite. Um, what I'm hearing that it will it will be extended probably till next uh, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. The police commissioner has hinted at that. Mm. Uh, police minister is kind of hinted at that as well now. Um, so that's that's good news. Um, now the liquor inspectors that we have on the bottle shops, we have a lot of problems on the bottle shops here, Laura. So we have to have um, police auxiliary licensing inspectors um, that man the bottle shops. Um, so they were going to be taken away too um, tomorrow. But now I'm hearing they're going to stay indefinitely uh, for a few more weeks, maybe longer. And then there's a plan being put in place by the police minister to have a presence of police or liquor inspectors on the bottle shops for the long term. OK. So is that part of a long-term solution? Uh, no, well, it's never going to be the solution, Laura. Like, it's, a, it's more of a bit of a Band-Aid at the moment, but it gives us oh. that respite. The solutions here are looking after these youth and getting them off the streets, um, getting them an education, um, giving them a safe home, and eventually giving them employment. Um, and that that is probably the long-term solution. So, but in the interim, we have to um, get maintain some safety on the street, um, get this town just ticking along again. Like it's been it's been horrible for the last couple of years. Um, like I've driven through the town the last week or so at three o'clock in the morning, Laura, and, and and I've just kind of had to pull over and double check that I'm being sane, I think, because there hasn't been like a human being on the street wow. in our CBD. It's just quite astounding to see compared to what it was two or three weeks ago. It's just amazing. Wow. So, um, Darren, this is the, the first time that we've spoken in a long time where you uh, have got a little bit of hope in your voice, i got to say. Yeah, look, it's... Well, we're actually getting a bit of sleep, mate. That's, that, that, that helps a bit, you know, because um, we're, all, we're all just feeling a little bit safer at the moment. Like, we know it's probably not going to last, you know, um, people are going to return to town, but, but for now... So now, Laura, it's just been a little bit normal, um, East Coast normal, and we're just enjoying it. Um, look, let's let's just hope this is the start of just a better future for this town. Hope so. Well, we have a great day. We'll speak again soon. Good on you, mate. Thanks, Laura. Cheers.